Hello and welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Legacy DLC, freshly released, and we're playing the Lazarus um, uh, storyline, which is the fourth storyline. And we're at mission number four as well. My name is Saiken, and today we're going to go through this nightmare slash uh, Iron Man blind playthrough. Our job is to rescue Peter Orsay from the Advent Prison. As always, I'd like to start. There seems to be high ground, and it's quite clear that we need to go into this direction. I don't. I really don't like this part here because it would mean we're in low ground and everyone else was, would have high ground and would be shitting on us at the same time. As you are, I Commander. I think we might want to go and take high ground. You will never hide from me, an alien scouting party. Okay, there is the first pack. Let's move up as far as we can. Well, I don't know, man. Bradford could move to here and we could uh, try to go over there. I think we could risk it. They usually just move one tile. They are not just running into this direction. So Bradford should be secure here. Solid copy. If they patrol at all. Well, they are patrolling. But like I said, they just take a single step. It's not unusual. If we were to engage on them... Yeah, I think that plus a grenade could be a great starting point. He may not have been a strategic mastermind. But he certainly had a knack for finding interesting targets to drive the aliens crazy. So, moving Bradford over here. And let's use the grenade starting, uh, starting strat. Interestingly enough, he can't throw it far, in, uh, far enough. How about Lily? Yeah, they can hit them. She can, matter of fact, hit them all. That's going to be two dead and two massively injured enemies. Actually, yeah, almost three dead. Okay, next up, let's deal with this advanced mech. Overwatch cleared and let's get some focus. Okay, solid first fight. Moving into full cover. We still have a ranger that is stealthed, so might as well move over. Interesting. That's the ne next pack right there.
so we got four down. Let's see With his failed sabotage attempt on the what the next pack is about. I've just seen a Berserk, and that's pretty much about it. Unfortunately for the others, by the time we got in there, he was oh, the wow. one they were still keeping alive. Berserk, Viper, Spectre, and Codex. Well, that's a power pack. Already there. We might want to consider taking high ground for that one. Would take us another turn. But given that the Berserk has so many hit points, we probably shouldn't just charge in. Let's go. Yeah, that that wouldn't be a good idea. So we could relatively freely move up to here. I would want to keep the Templar close to them, because his melee capability is just way better than his than his range capability. And if worse comes to worse, he can just charge uh, charge away. Security was through the roof with advent checkpoints and chip scanners on every major thoroughfare. In retrospect, this mission was the closest thing we had to a trial run for our eventual rescue of the commander. Redford's moving in. Probably we're going to use the capacitator discharger. Inside the city centers was the propaganda. Advent had taken to aggressively posting resistance mugshots, surveillance footage, renderings, anything they could find to put our faces up in lights. It was exactly so if we were to capacitate or discharge them, it would hit almost all of them except the Viper. Maybe not a bad start. Can we somewhat get the Viper in, please? No, we can't. But I think that's a decent start. So might as well try it. Here we go. Interesting. The Viper just puts herself like literally down here. So getting a bit closer, we're trying to eliminate uh, the mechanical units first. Codex, very good. Hair trigger free action, perfect, just at the right moment in time. The Berserk down to 5, 100% chance, and if we kill it, 
We're not even going to reveal ourselves. That's exactly what we needed. That's almost 100% kill. That's a valiant effort, but it could uh, the Viper could still evade. Hmm. Difficult. I would say we're trying to go for this guy here. If we would amplify, it'll take one additional damage. But unfortunately, our uh, rent damage would also drop by one because we wouldn't have the focus anymore. I mean, we could try it, but I think it's net neutral. So here is amplify. Let's go. Did we just kill the pack in one go? <laughs> Alright, I'm getting the hang of this group. It was no secret that Ose loved the attention Advent had been giving him. If I was trying to avoid attention, he was more than happy to be soaking it up. He wasn't all that chipper when we found him in that Advent jail, that's for sure. So let's get our Templar more focus. Fast as I can. We do not get any more bonus from rushing in. So might as well take it nice and steady. was a tough blow even with all the good cheer surrounding the commander's return all right i think we can get him out of there And I also think that we might want to go for the high ground here. I don't know. Maybe there's a pack up there. Let's be careful. I had my fair share of um, movements onto some building uh, building rooftops and then finding that there is someone upstairs. Did these guys really just come from upstairs when I when I was just elaborating that I had my fair, fair share of people coming from the ups uh, from upstairs wow
Okay, priest, priest, double priest. Oh, that's two times mind control. Uh, we got a shield bearer and, and a purifier. Ooh, sorry. Staying outside of line of sight. This guy, by the way, is in sustenance, so we are using the hair trigger action to. I wanted to do something other than going on to Overwatch, but my grenade will just not move far enough. No, unfortunately not. Concealing ourselves. Moving into full cover. We're getting that innate bonus when we're concealed, both to crit and to hit. And let's maybe try to get the shield bearer down. It's less points, uh, less potential hit points for all of them. Of course, we're being revealed. Not sure if I want to charge in, to be honest. So that's the only attack that we could do, which is fine. Let's use Comet Protocol to maybe get rid of this guy. Great, Combat Protocol overrides uh, sustenance apparently. And we're going to Overwatch, which means we should have uh, Blade, uh, Blade Storm and the normal attack. This here, by the way. Should actually kill him. Who can give me right. resupply? Perfect. Perfect. I like it. So, getting our be uh, self back into concealment. Covering ground. 
and moving up to double check if there is something more on top of the roof. There isn't, but I think I've seen an Archon back there. Lily moves in, and the rest of us could move on top of the roof. Let's do this. I love a challenge. Oh, for two turns. Well, let's get into position first before we take the two turns. Because that amount of crit de uh, crit chance end to hit is actually quite impressive. That's not too far. I will always find you. Another power pack. Moving as close as we can without being spotted out. Let me just test something. This here should still be in hacking range. Is still in hacking range? Okay. And this? It's on. It is on. Shit. It was no longer in all, uh, it was no longer in range. Hmm. That's blue screen rounds. Maybe we can kill it. Very good.
moving up. I think we're going to go with the Vault this time. Psychic characters take more damage from it, so this could kill the uh, sector right away. Fortunately brings it down to one. Moving closer. Very solid shots, but we're not killing them. Hopefully this Archon is going to go for Blazing Pylons. Uh, blazing Pinions. Air trigger? No. Bypassing line of sight. And killing the sector. So yeah, it is time for the enemy, can't do much against it, blazing pinions, no, crit for 11, he decides to wound one of our soldiers instead, We're going to kill him in return. Right up my but before we do that, we're freeing our captive and hopefully get the extra aim plus... No, we're not getting it. Moving very close. Gosh. This guy is tough. Moving very close. And I guess he already bled out in one of the missions. He's, he finished the last mission with one hit point. I think he finished the first mission with two hit points. And uh, he finished the... Yeah, he finished. He had two hit points, blood bleeding out, one hit point, and he's now again back at one hit point. Solomon is is just he's he's loving the danger. He's so on the edge. He's one of these risk-taking characters. Back online. Come get some. Give me time to reload. Watch closely. I am watching. Ready to engage. All right, opening the door. Hey there, sup? How's it going? Do you mind join, uh, joining us? No, not at all. Perfect. Let's go. Keep up, Rover. Moving out. 
Everyone else can move to the landing zone already. Continue moving out. And let's get our VIP. Peter Osai. I am looking forward to see what class Peter is going to be. And let's see if we could do the 150,000 that we were looking for. Despite his enthusiasm for a fight. Heading home. No. I think it was the timing, because we could have gotten extra points for freeing him earlier, I suppose. Just a little bit short on the points. We had been grabbing advent gear whenever possible. It gave Shen a shot at reverse engineering their latest tech. Plasma grenade would be replaced with flashbang, EMP and acid grenade. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean the EMP one, I get it, right? But having two spider suits for our rangers would actually be pretty good so i'm going with a spider suit shadow step it's okay that means bradford can no longer um, uh, take overwatch fire damage sting is actually pretty good soul harvest is also not bad because uh, this means he will um, stack up crit the more he uh, kills enemies. Deep focus means we can go to um, to three focus. Invert uh, tr it trades its position with the position of an alien. Oh, nice! And we got a grenadier. Finally, that solves a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Plus we got demolition, so he's going to go down the uh, the grenadier route. That's okay. We're still doing fine. Could do. We could have a, a couple more points, but the next missions will hopefully yield us more. It was no surprise that Advent had made an attempt on Anna Ramirez. What was surprising was that they actually managed to find her. See, Ramirez was one of the finest guerrilla operators we had run into. So much so that we had convinced her to start training recruits of her own to spread the knowledge around. I'm not one to sing the praises of Advent, but even I'll admit it. I was impressed they tracked her down. Still, Ramirez is no easy mark. She managed to get a signal through to us right when Advent hit her camp. Oh, is it the terror mission? We're going dark. We knew Ramirez wouldn't back down from the fight. So if we had any intention of keeping her alive, we'd have to work fast. She had been training recruits in an old freight yard for a few months now. And I guess her little 65,000 if we play our cards right. But we should uh, do much better now since we do have a Grenadier. That will solve a lot of our issues. Alright, that's going to happen in the next mission guys. Uh, see you very soon.